Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lee Twine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, that's starting to become like my, my normal intro, isn't it? Um, got nothing else more creative. I don't want to copy anyone else either. So, um, anyway, by the time you saw this, by the time you see this, you know, I'll hopefully be all happy because the Spurs won, beat uh, New Orleans. That's the prediction, of course, because of course they're going to win, right? Um, so we're going to do the 2007 Lunarosa Malbec. Uh, this is from the Mendoza region in Argentina. It's $5.98 at World Market. And uh, let's rinse out Wednesday's wine real quick. Oops. That's why there's a pad underneath here. Anyway. Check it out. On Wednesday's wine, I forgot to mention the bridal breakdown. I forgot to look at my notes. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll visit that real quick. Uh, it was an 83% Zinfandel, 10% Barbera. Uh, and if you've been watching Sommelier School, then you know what Barbera is, because that was last week's or this week's, whatever you want to call it, uh, lesson. 7% uh, Syrah. And 75% uh, of the grapes come from Amador County. And the other 25% come from the California Delta, and I forgot to look that up to see where that is. I've never heard of it. All right, so let's talk about Lunarosa. Um, those are my notes. That's all I can find on it, as in nothing. Okay, <clears throat> so let's check it out. Like I said, it's from Mendoza region, Mendoza region of Argentina, and Malbecs are like the hot, like the hot varietal out there for, for you know right now. Okay. It, it was just really strange that first little, first little sniff. Now it's not so bad, but I swear I smelled poop. I mean, for real. And that was like, it was ex definitely not expecting that from this. You know, maybe a manure smell from you know, a burgundy or something like that, but. Okay, so now it's, it's, it's a sweeter smell. It, it kind of smells like candy a little bit. It, it, not candy, it's, it, it, it smells like, it smells like a pure one. You know, it smells like a world market, you know, the, the potpourri, um, spicy smells like that, you know, of spices. Yeah, pretty much like that. Which, you know, I like that. And I've encountered it before, but it's not always what I'm looking for in a wine. So let's check it out, see how it is. Okay, I talked about the last wine tasted old. This one tastes all dusty. It's okay. I don't get much fruit out of it though. All right, so this is what I get out of this. The nose smells like walking into a Pier 1 or a World Market type of thing. It's really dry, really tannic on the palate. But it feels like I, I bit into the, the, the furniture there, the wood furniture. And you're going to laugh, but it tastes like accordion case. I swear to God. And that's not, for me, a good taste from a wine. I mean, it's only 6 bucks. Let's see what they say. Uh, da, 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 da. This wine has great red berry aromas and a mouth teeming with fruit, supple tannins, and a long finish make this a wonderful way to explore the region. From the flying winemaker and master blender, Yolen Goldschmidt. Yolen, I'm not feeling that at all. Uh, maybe when you first put the wine out, it was like that, but two years later, I'm not feeling it, man. Uh... Yeah, it's six bucks. I mean, what do you expect? It, it, it's not horrible, but uh, I, I don't. I think this infatuation is better. 
and I'd probably score this a 78. So it is what it is, and uh, maybe it'll be better with some food. Probably have, uh, this is Wednesday, by the way, recording this, but may have both these wines with the steak this afternoon. See if either one improves with the food. Um, the importer is Five Gold Hands in Heldsburg, California. Can't really find much about them, though. Um, yeah, can't find much about them at all. You know, it's it's okay. I, I probably wouldn't buy it again. I mean, give it a 78. I probably would say this is a this is something I would pass on, and I probably wouldn't uh, suggest anyone buy it. But um, you know, if you're trying to get some Malbec on the cheap, and there's nothing else out there, and you really just want some wine, okay, get it. All right, so uh, that's going to do it for today's show, and um, hope to see everyone again next time. Just make sure to friend me up, click the links, all that good stuff. You can donate, by the way, the little things over here. Kind of look at the scroll down a little bit, uh, the PayPal donation buttons. You can do that. Um, comments, emails, all that good stuff. I think I'm at seven minutes. I started the timer. Let's see how much time I have left. Wow. Under seven minutes, even better. We'll see everybody again next time.